Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets and thank you so much for tuning in today. I post new budget related videos twice every week on Fridays and on Mondays. So if that's content that you're interested in, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified for when I post new videos. So let's get started with today's video and that's going to be my week three spending check-in for September. So that spans from the 17th through the 23rd. Um, and as always, I check in on f for four variable expense categories. So the first one was groceries, um, which last week I had about $86 left. Um, dining out, which I had $21 left. Gas, I had $74. And then finally, I have miscellaneous, and I only had $9.28 left for the month. Um, but <laughs> this week was actually... Um, a little bit different than my norm. So I actually went up to a cottage with my family. So I have a lot less expenses than I normally do. And that's just because um, I, I wasn't buying anything. So I didn't drive up to the cottage. Um, like I went with my family and then I also like didn't buy a lot of food. Like my parents bought everything. So normally on the weekends, like that's when I usually drive around more and that's when I usually like go and get my groceries and everything. But I didn't do that this week. So everything was a little bit shifted, but ultimately it was fine. I definitely spent less money than normal. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's get to the actual expenses. So I'm gonna flip you over to the next page um, and again for anybody who might be new um, I do these weekly spending check-ins because I don't use cash for anything I use my debit card so I just have my banking app open to the side and I just would fill out everything that I spend based on that not cash obviously so yeah the first thing was on the 21st and that was in the gas category. So again, as I said, I didn't get grocery, or sorry, I didn't do stuff on the weekend because I wasn't home. I left my car at my parents, so I didn't have a ton of stuff to drive around with, so I didn't need to buy as much gas this week. So gas, I only spent $31 there. Then, um, also, then on the 21st, I went and picked up groceries. Um, so I bought a lot less groceries than I normally do and that was because again what I mentioned I got sent home with quite a bit of food so there was a lot of leftover like chicken that my mom had made so then she sent me home with quite a bit of um, I also got sent home with like a quite a few like I think probably with like five or six apples because my mom I think was planning on making like an apple crisp but then she didn't so I got sent home with that which was nice um what else did I get sent home with um there was some leftover bread um not a lot there was just a few slices of the bread that I like and I think yeah I think that was basically it but anyways it was a lot of food that I normally wouldn't have so I went and just got groceries on the Tuesday um, and that was at Freshco. So my groceries were only $18.95. I also did get asked um, in one of my previous videos, I can't remember which one that comment was on, to do a grocery haul. And I don't know if I'm, I'm like good enough to film a grocery haul but if that is something that you're interested in let me know um i might not film a dedicated grocery haul but like in these videos i don't mind like showing the receipt i thought i had kept the receipt for this 18 dollars 95 cents but i couldn't find it when i actually sat down to film um so yeah i could in these videos just kind of like walk you through and show the receipt and then maybe post like a picture of my groceries on my instagram account but um i really appreciate that comment so thank you <laughs> um anyways uh, let's keep going. So the next day, this was Wednesday. So on the 22nd, in the dining out category, um, one of my friends that I hadn't seen in quite a while had actually messaged me and said if I wanted to go out and eat with them. So we went to a Thai restaurant um, and I'd been there before. So I knew it wasn't very expensive because I did not have a ton of money left in dining out. So as you can see from like the previous week, I only had $21.61, but I knew this place wasn't super expensive. So that Thai dinner was only $15.90. Um, and that was leaving like a 20% tip. So it wasn't like I was <laughs> not tipping my waiter or anything. Um, I just like, I don't drink a whole lot. So I 
wasn't ordering alcohol, which definitely def makes go dining out a lot more expensive. So yeah, that was that. And then finally, um, so also on the 22nd, after um, I went out for dinner, in the miscellaneous category, um, I went to the dollar store. And if you've watched my sinking fund videos, you'll know that I started a new sinking fund for household. Um, and my household sinking fund was basically just for like, um, like dish soap, like cleaning supplies, like stuff around the house. So I went to the Dollarama because I needed to pick up that kind of stuff. So I needed um, dish soap like for my kitchen, but also dish soap for my bathroom. And I also needed a shower curtain. So the total came to $5.65. So I obviously didn't bring my cash envelope with me because I use my debit card for everything. But what I'm planning on doing is taking $5 from my household sinking fund to put that towards the purchase. So the full cost of the trip to the Dollarama was $5.65, but I'm going to just put on like this weekly check-in um, 65 cents. So, and that was actually all of my money that I spent last week. So there was only four transactions in the four different, one in each of the categories. So I don't think I even need my calculator at all because I can just carry the numbers over. So over here I have groceries and groceries was $18.95. $18.95. Next I have dining out and that was $15.90. Gas I think was $31, which it was $31. And then miscellaneous, I know that was just the 65 cents, which was on top of the $5 that I'm gonna take out from my cash envelope. So let's grab my calculator and see the totals. So I have 18.95 plus 15.90 plus 31 plus 65 cents. So that only was a total of $66.50, which I think might be my lowest spend week since I started budgeting. But again, a lot of that was to do with the fact that like I didn't drive to the cottage <laughs> and my mom sent me home with a bunch of groceries. So um, yeah, that is still great though. I'm gonna take the win. Let's see how much I have left for all of my categories. So I have 86, 71 minus 1895 and that's for groceries. So I still have 67, 76 left for groceries, which is amazing. That means I'll probably be able to stock up on a couple things when I go to the grocery store this weekend. And that would be awesome because I honestly, I really thought I was gonna go over in my grocery budget this month, but it doesn't look like I'm going to. So that's really amazing. That's really, really cool. So yeah, dining out, I had 2161 and I spelt 1590. So that is $5.71 left. So I don't have a ton left this month, but I have enough money to like go and grab a coffee with a friend. So if that's something we do, that would be awesome. So yeah, next I have gas. So 74 was what I had at the beginning, minus 31. So that's 43. And I don't think there's any reason why I'll go over that $43 for gas. Um, I still have quite a bit of gas like in my tank right now. So I will still fill up on the weekend as I normally do. But yeah, that $43 should definitely um, last me for the rest of the month, which is cool. And then finally, I have miscellaneous, which is $8.28, sorry, $9.28 minus the 65 cents. So I still have eight dollars and 63 cents left in miscellaneous which again is not a lot but that's okay um, I've really been really doing well <laughs> I think in that miscellaneous category just with like cutting back so overall that means that for the very last week of September and it is a full week the 24th to the 30th I'll have $67.76 for groceries $5.71 for dining out $43 for gas and $8 63 for um, miscellaneous. So I'll have $125.10. 
And if you look at that number, that is less than what I spent in week one and what I less than I spent in week two. So there is no reason at all for the last week of September that I will go over budget that I can see. So honestly, like I'm so excited. Like I definitely think in September I'm going to be able to stick to my variable expense categories, which will be the first month that I've done that. Granted, I have only been budgeting for um, about like two months. This is my third month, but like back in August, I was over in my variable expenses by $16. And then in July, sorry in July I was over by $16 and then in August I was over by $22 but I think that this is going to be the first month where I come under budget for my variable expenses which is awesome so anyways yeah that's it for today I hope you all had an amazing week and you have a great weekend I will be posting my October calendar setup um, and that video is going to be going live on Monday so if that's content that you're interested in again I would love for you to hit subscribe also um, I created um, like a PDF download of my budget sheets. Um, they're completely free and they're linked down below in case you wanted to print them out and do a similar budget setup or if you wanted to print them out and just kind of like or look at them and see how it is and then you could do it yourself in a bullet journal. I thought that that would be cool. So anyways yeah that's it for today. Thank you all again. I hope you have an amazing weekend and I'll talk to you again on Monday. Bye everyone.